Jack and the Pack are back in the brand new Saved by the Bell board game by Pressman Toy. The game comes with six character playing pieces and stands, six character card holders, 25 seat cards, 30 character cards, 50 question cards, a spinner, and a 20 second stand timer. To set up the game, punch out the character playing pieces one in each stand. Then place each flying piece in its starting position. Zach's in his room. Kelly's in drama class. Jessie is in her room. Lisa is at the max. Screech is in homeroom. And Slater is in geometry class. Place one of each character card face up on its face in the center of the board. Shuffle the rest of the cards. Then place them in a stack in the center of the board. Every player chooses a character playing piece. Shuffle the scene cards and place them face down on the table, and then give one yearbook card holder to each player. The object of the game is to answer questions to win cards. Be the first player to collect one of each character card or three character cards of the same character. The questions range from easy A to wow, I wish I would have paid attention in class. The player who most recently graduated from high school starts the game by spinning the spinner. You'll either spin a number, view a scene, or a timeout. If you spin a number, move your playing pieces that number spaces in a clockwise direction on the board. When you land on a character's space, you can do one of the following. Pick up that character card from the center of the board, or discard that character card from the yearbook if you don't need it. Then, either pick up one of the character cards in the center of the board, or pick the top card from the deck. You can only pick one from the deck if you discard a character card. Discarded character cards should be placed face up on that character space in the center of the board. If you spin view a scene or finish your move in one of the locations on the board, hold up the top scene card in the deck so that all players, including you, can see it, and then start the 20 second timer. When the sand runs out, place the scene card face down on the table and hand one question card to each player, including yourself. Starting with the player on your left, each player reads the question on the card and answers the question about the scene they just viewed. After each player has answered their question card, flip over the scene card and review the answers. Players who answer correctly each draw one character card from the deck and place it in their yearbook. If there is a dispute about the correctness of an answer, the player who held up the scene card decides whether the disputed answer is correct or not. If you spin a timeout, you get to steal a card. Choose which player you want to steal from. Then that player takes all the cards out of their yearbook and places them face down on the table. The player who spun the timeout chooses one card at random and places it in their own yearbook. The first player to collect one card of each character or three cards of a single character wins the game and is saved by the bell. Thanks for playing.